Morning, Spain have joined Holland in the World Cup final. Welcome back to World Cup Spy. Lots to get through today, so let's start off with some transfers. The agent of the Sevilla striker Luis Fabiano has played down speculation linking him with a move to either Man United or AC Milan. He's 29. He's out of contract at the Spanish side next, sun, next summer, but he's got a buyout clause for £25 million. Pounds. The Lazio president, uh, Claudio Letito, has put an £18 million pounds price tag on the head of the left-back Alan Zardner Kolarov. Though Man United also interested in him. It's been confirmed by the Inter Milan president Massimo Moratti in the Daily Mirror today that uh, Manchester United are indeed interested in Wesley Schneider. We told you about that earlier this week. And the Mail are saying that uh, Manchester United also after Inter's £30 million rated striker Mario Balotelli. Not sure about that. Arsenal fighting with Spurs and Liverpool for Sean Wright Phillips for a reduced fee of £6 million. Man City want to get him off the wage bill. That's in the sun. Uh, Barcelona's financial problems could scupper deals for the Arsenal midfielder Seth Fabregas and Liverpool's Fernando Torres and Javier Mascherano. That's in the mirror. Argentina midfielder Mascherano in particular has hinted he's eager to be reunited with the Liverpool former boss Rafa Benitez at Inter Milan. The Times say that Juventus may well move for the Arsenal left back Gao Clichy if uh, the Italian side move for Fabio, if they lose Fabio Grosso to Atletico Madrid. Ida Good Johnson at Spurs is set to have another loan move there after spending the end of last season at White Hart Lane. Liverpool boss Roy Hodgson is going to move for the Wigan left back Maynor Figueroa for around about five, six million pounds. Uh, Sunderland, they've entered the race with the Ghana striker Asamoa Gyan, missed a penalty in that game against Uruguay. That's in the Daily Mail. And on the Mirror Football website, look at this. Uh, Newcastle confident of uh, landing the England under 21 midfielder Dan Gosling. All sorts of contract problems for Everton there. The Sun say that Newcastle also weighing up a move for the Dutch midfielder Jonathan de Guzman. He's 22, just been released by Feyenoord. And Wolves boss Mick McCarthy is planning to offer Chelsea £4 million for the defender Michael Mancian with the London club ready to offload the 22-year-old. Look at this in Scotland in the Daily Record. Middlesbrough want the Rangers midfielder Kevin Thompson for around about £2.7 million. And here's one for all you Leicester fans. The new boss there, Palo Sosa, is going to make Benfica defender Miguel Vitor his first signing on a season-long loan. And the England goalkeeper, David James, is going to hold talks with Portsmouth about extending his contract there. He's 40 next month, being asked to take a pay cut on his £40,000 a week wages to stay at Fratton Park. Now, I've got some World Cup news in brief for you. The former Arsenal... Uh, actually, it's actually transfer news, really. But John Hartson, former Arsenal and Celtic legend, wants to uh, start his managerial career at his hometown club, Swansea. They're looking for a new boss. Barcelona almost borrowed £120 million to cover player wages and TV costs. Now they're short of cash. And Fulham are going to name the successor to Roy Hodgson at the end of this uh, this coming week. Uh, Sven Joran Eriksson, the favourite, but the former West Ham defender Slaven Bilic is a contender who seems to get in for all the jobs. That's in the Telegraph. And uh, Man United uh, striker, former Man United striker, Diego Forlan has revealed that Sir Alex Ferguson sent him a good luck text message before Uruguay's World Cup semi-final defeat by Holland. Fat lot of good that did. Time for your messages, and lots of you have been in touch on the email and on YouTube. Going to go through some of them. 543 Joe, who's confirmed that his name is Jasper. He says, such a boring match if I've ever seen one. Like watching Barca without Messi. Uh, orange is the colour of madness. Rock and Holland, World Cup champions, uh, Euro millions add in Dutch accents. I think he wants Holland to win on Sunday somehow. Uh, Torres CR says, I love your show. Thanks very much. Um, I said Spain would win and David Villa would be the top goal scorer from the very start. This World Cup has been incredible. I totally agree with you on that, Torres. Uh, I don't think, though, that David Villa is going to end up as a top scorer. Schneider's been outstanding and I think he will more come up on the rails as I was suggesting earlier this week. Uh, Bad Half says, any interest in the uh, Portuguese goalkeeper Eduardo for Arsenal? Well, he's been offered to Arsenal, but Arsenal, as I understand it, not very interested in him. Aogese wants Germany to win the World Cup, he says, because of their de because of their determination, and he says uh, that they've proven that young players make progress. Ivan Grozny wants Spurs to sign Forlan. 
got to tell you why Ivan Spurs want him, but Forlan has already said he's got no interest in coming to the Premier League now. He's already been with Manchester United, as you know. I'm just going to do a couple more for you. Uh, Mohamed thinks that Dominic Adaya of Ghana is a fantastic player and a natural goal scorer. He'd be great at Aston Villa. I don't think he's going to end up there. I think he might all cost a bit too much for you, Mohamed. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, a few of you are asking whether uh, Mesut Ozil or Wesley Schneider would be a better bet for Manchester United. I think Schneider would be an outstanding player for Manchester United next season. Scores goals from midfield, creates uh, goals for the attackers. And I just think he's a quality player. And I cannot believe that Real Madrid couldn't give him a game and let him leave for around about £12 million last summer. I'm just going to give you one more. Hannah says uh, she wants Spain to win because she's got them in her family sweepstake. Uh, so thanks for all of your messages. Keep them coming in. Uh, dr 601 tib I'll squeeze one more. I'm sure the uh, producer doesn't mind. He says, what's happening with Schneider and United? Well, as I said before... The Inter Milan president, Massimo Moratti, confirmed that Arsenal have made a bid and basically saying that he's fighting to keep him. But I think after this World Cup, he may well find that that's a bit difficult for him to do. World Cup spies back with you tomorrow. Keep your messages coming in. We'll go through them again like we've done today. I'll see you next time.